Tonight, hundreds of people in St. Martinville's community are mourning the loss of three victims who were killed in a car crash on Friday. Justice Henderson was at the vigil this evening where grief left their loved ones at a loss for words. Important to I need you to make it through this. Dejanae Olivier and Kenneth Eaglin, students at St. Martinville Senior High, were killed just before the last week of school. Their classmates remembered them by the last impact they had on their school. Oh, days, that's my mom. My mom days. You, you know, uh, you know, she like like Jordan said, you know, she keep us all in line, keep them in line as well. And Kenneth played football and was in band. It's gonna be a missing piece. It's just everything would be crazy. But we're doing everything for Kenneth. Everything is for him. Everyone who stepped up to speak fought through tears to share memories of the team. All your problems have gone away. Friends, family members, community members, and beyond. Wishing this tragedy was all a dream. Victory. Crowd lit candles in memory of their loved ones, consoling one another, one moment at a time. Even if you're having a bad day, you can have a bad day with Dejanette because she's just that type of person. And several people from all over Acadiana came together to offer their assistance during this troubling time. My son was murdered 12 years ago. And I don't like to say I'm better, but I'm helping other people now. And I couldn't rest at home knowing the hurt and the pain that St. Martin Villa is experiencing. And even with heavy hearts and teary eyes, everyone can agree they need each other more than ever right now. In St. Martinville, Justice Henderson, KETC, TV3. Here's Eric's 24-hour forecast. It was a